bells on the Capitol. Congressman Jamal Bowman has pleaded guilty this morning to one misdemeanor for falsely pulling a fire alarm in D.C. in a House office building last month. Bowman, Bowman has been charged with setting off a false fire alarm in the building, a moment that added to the chaos of Congress's rush to avoid a government shutdown. Under an agreement with prosecutors, he will have his charge dropped in three months upon paying a $1,000 fine and writing an apology letter to the United States Capitol Police. A spokesperson for the Attorney General of the District of Columbia said Congressman Bowman has agreed to pay the $1,000 fine, the maximum for a misdemeanor charge, and wrote an apology letter for the incident. So this unfolded while I was on vacation, so I missed this news cycle the first time around. So he claims he just grabbed it accidentally? So this was his Educate me. more Educate elaborate me, statement at the time. <laughs> He said, today, as I was rushing to make a vote, I came to a door that is, unusual, that is usually open for votes, but today would not open. I'm embarrassed to admit that I activated the fire alarm, mistakenly thinking it would open the door. I regret this and sincerely apologize for any confusion this caused, but I want to be very clear, this was not me in any way trying to delay any vote. It was the exact opposite. I was trying urgently to get to a vote, which I ultimately did, and joined my colleagues in a bipartisan effort to keep our government open. I also met after the vote with the sergeant at arms and the Capitol Police at their request and explained what happened. Et cetera, et cetera. So the argument that a lot of conservatives are making at the time was that this was just like a 1-6. I think Kevin McCarthy made this argument. Um, and he was trying to stop a vote from happening the same way that the alleged conspiracy that Donald Trump was engaged on in 1-6 uh, was to um, stop the elector count. Um, that What what's undermines that argument is that Jamal Bowman wanted to and eventually did vote in favor of the vote, not trying to obstruct it, but wanted to pass um, uh, the vote to the, the bill to keep the, the government funded. So I don't, I don't, that doesn't track. But it's as, a little bit like to, the vote to certify the election. It was going to happen eventually anyway, <laughs> no matter how many windows they smashed or um, Sure, but, but the goal, into. you can at least argue, like, even if it was unlikely that the plan was going to succeed, if it had succeeded, like, if things went as planned, it would have yeah. been to disrupt the vote. As, as if, if Bowman got his druthers and got to the place where he was voting, the goal was to pass the vote, not to stop a vote, stop a vote count. So on the other hand, his explanation, like what was going through his head that would make him think that pulling the fire alarm was a way to get a door open, like, I don't know. That yeah. still seems really inscrutable to me. I watched the video footage and I didn't really quite know what I made of it. Um, it looked to me like maybe he was just like, spaced out or zoned out or something. Um, I'm a pretty absent-minded person, frankly, when I, like if I'm thinking about something else, and I'll be like, what am I doing? Um, I, guess I, I guess it could happen, I don't know. There was a sign um, that, there was some debate as to whether or not I mean, I can't imagine accidentally confusing. pulling the fire alarm, because it's pretty clearly, it's not usually confusing what is the fire alarm. No, but so the sign on the door said, push until alarm sounds, three seconds, and the door will unlock in 30 seconds. So if you were really, like, if you're really stretching this, you could think, well, this door's normally open. The door's not opening today. I'm rushing to get to a vote. How do I get this door to open? It says, if the alarm sounds, the door will open. Let me make the alarm sound. I pull mm -hmm. the alarm. Maybe now the door will emergency unlatch. And the other thing that I think really undermined the kind of conservative argument that he was trying to stop the vote is that the vote was in a different building. Yeah. And the alarm did not go off really in the building where the votes were taking place. Stop the vote, but... So, you know, at worst, it's just being someone being well, dumb. Let the punishment <laughs> fit the crime. You're not supposed to do that. You yeah. have to pay a fine. Not really a big deal. Yeah. There were also a lot of jokes being made about how he was a principal and how he should know as a former <gasps> principal. Well, exactly that what is relevant. Policies are. That is relevant. But I said at the time, that, that that is true. It is also the case that living in New York City walk-ups for so many years, there is often the door to the roof that you're not supposed to go on to, that has a sign that says you're not supposed to go on to it, and might even have a sign that says an alarm will ring if you do the push bar and go out that door. But everybody knows that you can go. Like, it's building by building, but one person tests it once, and then everybody in the building knows that you can go and have drinks on the roof. So, and the subway example is very similar, where in the New York subway system, every exit has the door that you're supposed to just use for like strollers or big things. But it says if you push this bar, the alarm will go off, and it doesn't. Like everyone knows 
if I have a stroller, I can go through that door. So I, I can see some counterexamples of why you might, in a moment of panic, get kind of confused about it. And he was rushing to a very important vote that he wanted to be successful, that he wanted to pass. Um, it's not an excuse. I think he's taking responsibility. I saw him give a statement uh, on Fox News saying, hey, I just got to take responsibility for my goof up. He's paying $1,000. He's not one of the richer congressmen, so it is going to hurt him a little bit more than, uh, let's say, Trump's five or ten thousand dollar gag order fine. <laughs> and I think uh, everyone will just going to have to move on for this from this uh, from this one. Do the crime, do the time. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll be very careful about the fire alarms in the rising studio, and we'll have more coverage for you just in a minute.